All right, I want to be clear here. It's the New Orleans uh, Saints ticket holders, not the Saints themselves, who are suing the NFL, even though the owner of the team has uh, complained to the NFL over that botched call that, uh, well, the team and the fans are arguing cost them a trip to the Super Bowl. Judge Editor Politano on how far something like this could go. What do you think? I think it's dead in the water. I mean, I was uh, horrified by the call, as was almost everybody that, uh, that saw it. But there are certain things that the courts can't resolve. Uh, Justice Frankfurter once said the courts don't exist in order to right every wrong. Otherwise, we'd be running to judges every time there was an injustice in the world. Look, the lawsuit basically asks a judge to force Roger Goodell, the NFL commissioner, to exercise discretion that he's already exercised. They just don't like the way he exercised it. There's a rule that gives him extraordinary authority. It allows him to nullify the outcome of a game and order a new game. He's exercised this discretion and decided this is not worthy of a new game. End of the story. They're not even saying a new game, right? They're from the point of play, what, what, a minute 30 or so to play, um, where this disputed pass interference went in effect, that that... The that, game should pick up from that right point. Right from there. What do you think of that? It's well, if you could, if you could, it's the same principle. If you could redo history, I suppose that would be a fairer event. But, but the commissioner has the authority to say yes or no. He's exercised that authority and said no. So this lawsuit is dead in the water. And in most states, the lawyers who filed it would be required to reimburse the NFL for the fees it incurred in hiring lawyers to resist it. Yeah, um, it's going to be wild. 